Hello, this is Angela from ATG. I'm on the technical support team and I want to show you how to set up an environment variable on your computer so that your workstation can connect with your Autodesk LM Tools licensing server. Um, the main way of connecting your network license upon installation to your server is through this FlexNet license finder that pops up when you open the program. But sometimes if you specify the license server or the license file, you go next, it'll say finish and it'll look like it did it, but then this will pop back up and it'll just keep sending you through that same loop over and over again. And if that happens, you wanna set up an environment variable so that you can bypass all of that. Um, so just to show you, this is what AutoCAD will look like. If you're unable to connect successfully, it'll say the license manager is not functioning or it's improperly installed and it will shut down. So it just simply will not let you into the software at all. So what you do to create a new environment variable is to type environment variable in your Windows Cortana search and then open up the control panel. And under system properties, you're gonna say environment variables, and then you're gonna say new. And then it'll pop up this new system variable dialog box. So for the variable name, you wanna put uh, Autodesk flex underscore license underscore file. So it would look just like this. ADSK flex underscore license underscore file. Now, if you wanna specify a server name, you would put the at symbol and your server name. Make sure that your server name matches what's on your license file exact. Make sure it's case sensitive as well. So if that's your server name in there and you've got the variable name, you would say okay, okay, and okay. And that's how to connect with your server name. A lot of people like to actually connect with their MAC address of their server though. Sometimes that tends to be more effective. So what you would do is you would type in your MAC address and put the at symbol at the end. Okay, so this is how to connect with your server MAC address. So you just say okay, okay, and okay. Let's say you wanna set up a custom port. Let's say you've got a firewall or some sort of security appliance. You need to add a custom port so you can create a rule um, to allow things to go through that port. Well, in that case, you would type the port number, then the at symbol, then your MAC address, and say okay, okay, okay. And that would be how to actually open up a specific port. I wanna show you a different type of variable that you can do to increase the timeout value. This is important for anybody that is working remotely uh, and they're on a VPN, or let's say you just are on a congested or a slow network. Sometimes the program can't connect to the server fast enough in those types of environments. And so you need to increase the timeout value to give it more time to find the server. So what you do is you go flexlm underscore timeout. And for the variable value, you're gonna put five million. And then say, okay, okay, and okay. Uh, this will allow you to go as long as 10 million but I would start at five and go from there. So then you would say, okay, okay, okay. And that's how to add a new environment variable. Thank you for watching.